All right. The gunslinging 10 year old blowing up the internet, child's play. Whoa. Hey guys, I'm Autumn. I'm Tim. Oh my God. Holy shit. <laughs> this little girl is just straight dual wielding these guns, dude. I can't even do that. God dang. And I have a YouTube channel where I shoot guns for a living. Okay, so this is a gun that we wanted to show you. Ready. When we started the channel, she had just turned seven. Look at her smile. <laughs> I don't know God any dang. family like ours. Radio check. There we go. I don't do anything that has anything to do with politics. I don't know what else to say about that. There's nothing political here at all. Surely there's nothing political. You just have uh, an entire armory full of guns. There's nothing political about that. Surely. I'm actually really good at these. I'd say, yeah, I would think of myself as an influencer. I'm a breakout creator, <laughs> as you can see from my trophy. <laughs> the point of this channel is to show people that guns aren't scary and people of any age can enjoy them too. I mean, maybe not. That's a strong little girl, dude. Like for real. Any age? I'd say. Like, I can't tell you how many times I've seen like adult women try to handle a gun. Like, they'll they'll hold it and that shit will just like whip back and hit him in the face this little girl is just manhandling all of these weapons they too and older well i don't really want to do anything when i'm grown up pit vipers i want to do what i'm doing now okay that's fun not gonna lie i've shot in guns a couple times in my life not often though but the few times that i did do it it was fun as hell, dude. Not gonna lie. Shooting guns and in, especially into like fruits and, and and like just random shit is fun. All right, so we're gonna get going here. Okay. Gonna do the MP5 22, right? Yeah. And then I thought we would just try out. Did we? Did we ever try these out in it? The auto match. I feel like we. I feel like we did. All right, we'll see how these work and then the velocitors. Okay. Over the past month, I think we've posted like eight videos. Last summer, we were doing a video every single day. Depends on what video it is. Sometimes it'll take like 45 minutes to an hour. Sometimes it'll take 10 minutes if we're just doing short. It depends on what it is. So remember, we're gonna, we're gonna mention there's lots of other brands that make similar guns, but this one's actually the HK version. You gotta be brand safe and brand aware. Like you only, you have to pedal the good brands for the guns and the bullets and rounds and all that shit in case you get a, a lucky sponsorship dad being being very aware of that possibility so good on dad yeah this one's got last shot hold open but look at that gun it's almost as, as long as her body almost unlike the nine okay and i like the ambi give me give me this angle here where where you kind of you're pointing over my lap over my right shoulder there yeah that's a cool angle there cool all right Okay, so this is a gun that we wanted to show you. This is an actual HK MP5-22, and you can see here that they had to have the 16-inch barrel with the fake suppressor on it because of the ATF and their rules and whatever. But yes, I have shot it multiple times before. Because of the ATF and their rules and whatever. <laughs> oh. And it is a lot of fun. All right, ready? Ready. January of 2020 is when we started the channel. She was seven. I pretty much just turned seven. This is the SIG M400 Tread. We're over 200,000 subscribers now. Uh, I mean, dang. I over like 300 videos. Good on, good on this girl for, and, and the dad for like doing this. That's awesome. Yeah, I probably have nearly 300 videos at this point. I did used to do like a lot more complex gun reviews and this is a type of p320 but it has this compact slide but honestly this is a genius idea because you know when you say when you think about like the hobby of shooting mostly you would say like this is catered to like young boys or just at least men and to go in the the polar opposite side and to get like a little girl to do gun reviews is actually brilliant is actually awesome to see that because it's like two polar opposites that you just mash together 
little girl doing gun reviews. You wouldn't think that, like, at, like ever, that that could be successful. But here it is, and it exists. And that's just, it's just so funny, and it works. Most of them are just having fun blasting something. I think Jesus. my channel's a lot of fun. And it's a lot of fun to make. That was a lot of fun. Woo, that's fun. This gun is so much fun. Literally, it's 24-7. If they're not shooting guns, they're watching guns, or they're looking in magazines or on websites. What really stands out is her yeah. proficiency with guns. Uh, the way she can load, unload, manipulate, clear jams, hit what she's aiming at, all that sort of thing. There's a say, it's technique, not physique. A 22 with like a weak technique is okay but like if bro this is like a mini john wick right here this is so cool <laughs> you step it up to a 44 mag that technique has to grow with it if you keep that weak technique with a 44 mag you're gonna get hurt but plus i got them muscles <laughs> <laughs> so i guess the general concept is just showing the world that guns can be a really fun thing and people of any age can enjoy them too so any that's age. what it's all about two-year-olds <laughs> me Mm. Shooting when I was two. All right, Jeez. We, had outro. we had a lot of fun trying out this. We had a lot. Not gonna lie, that does sound like a really hard sell to like the general population. <laughs> like, oh, I want to get my little two year old a gun and teach him in a safe way how to shoot a gun. Honestly, just on the surface level, that sounds like a hard sell. A lot of fun shooting this, uh, HKMP5 22. Yeah. We had a lot of fun shooting this HK MP522. She's even got like the YouTube voice. <laughs> oh man. Shooting the nacho steel and the 12 gauge. I mean, I always have fun with the 12 gauge. <laughs> I hope you guys had a lot of fun watching this video, just like we had a lot of fun making it. So thanks for watching on Zombie, and we'll see you next time. Nice. You stink. I love you, but you stink. We're full-time RVers. This is our house right here. We've previously, for the last 10 years or so, eight. eight years, just been traveling all over the country, hitting different construction jobs. And uh, this piece of property here came available, and we had enough cash to just buy it outright, so we did. So this is first time we're, like, really you know, settling, settling down. down. Nice. Okay. And this is my room. <laughs> It is quite spacious until it gets cluttered. <laughs> these are my squishmallows here. You can come in if you want. So these are all BB guns up here. Yeah. And then right down here. She likes Pokemon. Transition from the highest spot in my room to the lowest. These are all Pokemon cards. I do oh, dang. Cool, actually, yeah. Do you like it? I do. The, the foundation of any uh, uh of a normal childhood pokemon cards and guns <laughs> that's what i had when i was a little kid <laughs> but minus the guns <laughs> oh man that just sounds so funny <laughs> i do yeah autumn's homeschooled um she uses a program called time for learning but mostly we focus on life skills i'm making this for my friend lola you know the girl that i told you doesn't collect pokemon and is in texas <laughs> i love the schooling i get 100% interaction with her and get to teach her in a way that she understands everything. It's always really cool. So this is my micro fossil collection. This is my best tooth I have. And I can do this for one of my subjects for just like science part. I do like huh. school, yeah, most of the time. We get into a park day group or like a homeschool group and then we go to the homeschool group and play with friends that we meet pretty much yeah oh that's pretty cool it's a pretty simple way to make friends but i really like going to those park days there's just <laughs> so many all right when were you cutest what <laughs> there you are you and daddy are at the range <laughs> look, at look daddy's wearing jeans oh wow that's surprising my first memories have been being into guns. I just couldn't get enough of guns. My whole life, that's how I've been. She would push her buggy, her baby buggy around the the range. So the first time that I shot a gun, I would always go to the range with my dad. 
And one, like I kept paying more attention and more attention to him. And one day I asked if I could shoot. So I just held a rifle, a 22 rifle, for her with both hands down low, and she just reached over it and yanked the trigger while I held it down range, you know? Yeah. And she had a blast. And then so we started putting out little clays or so something that breaks when she shoots it, you know? It's just a lot of fun, like, to hear the steel, that little plank sound. A little ping. That's a lot of fun to hear, like, the bang of the gun and everything. And Bro, one of my first interactions with guns... I'm trying to remember. I think it was either, like... I don't know, like, as like a little kid, it was probably like Nerf guns and like super soakers uh, was my first interactions with guns, but like my first interaction with a real gun. I think it was like at my buddy's house where we had those like pump action BB guns that we would just shoot at targets and shit. Like you would load a single BB into this, I don't know, this like handgun and or maybe it was a pellet pellet gun or whatever. And then you'd have to like crank back. I don't know what you call it. You'd have to like pump it up a couple times and you lock it and then you like shoot it. And that was it. You only get like one shot per pellet or some shit. And uh, like, yeah, we just did that for a long time. But uh, yeah, that was like my first interaction with guns. Seeing things react. Pineapples, two liters, soda cans. I like doing bowling with bowling pins. Safety is pretty big to me because guns are pretty dangerous. Before we ever got her a toy gun, we made sure that she had respect and discipline for real guns. And once we saw that she was responsible enough, then we got her a toy gun. She needed to know that guns oh, are not a toy. That's my favorite Star Wars character. <laughs> what is this? A golden AK with a drum barrel? <laughs> oh my god, that's so funny. <laughs> I, I trust her completely. My finger's always off the trigger as soon as she's done aiming. It's never pointed in a wrong direction. She's better than most adults. Her technique is so rock solid. Her muscle memory, she just locks right into position the way she does. That's what she's made to be doing. <laughs> She's just amazing. <laughs> Me and my dad had noticed my talent of shooting and... Bro, if if this girl's got like a talent for shooting and aiming, why not try out for like some sort of like Olympic level shooting or something like that if you're that into it? Why not do like some contests and shit? I think that'd be really cool. We thought that it would be great to start a YouTube channel, so we made our first video. Now, I do forget what that first video was because we've gone through a few channels because of YouTube, <laughs> and it went great. So we started making more. I just posted a video yesterday. It's got 4,000 views right now. It's kind of lower than usual. Okay, I can go to audience here. Viewer age, viewer gender. 87% of the viewers are male. So it looks like 30. Yeah, but 13, what was it? Like, like, was that 13% were probably going to be female? So that's probably crazy, like a crazy high percentage. Five to 44 years is most people, but that's, that's basically a quarter. You got to figure a yeah. lot of her fans are, are children and they're just on their parents' phone or whatever. Mm -hmm. You know, we get comments all the time. You can tell it's a child writing it on their parents' phone. So this video has 5,580 comments on it. They're always really nice. They're, we get so few bad comments, and I don't pay any attention to them. So I can imagine I that one, the the one video of her uh, dual wielding, um, that video went absolutely really insane. A lot of people then stole it and put it on things like Twitter and all these other with no context, you know. Right. When you saw it in the original video from us, you had a whole video buffering just oh, that yeah. one little scene, you know? And when you see that just as a statement. Oh yeah, if you show just this, this obviously looks like, and then you put the title of it, like what the fuck are gun kids gun, or gun nut kids doing? And you got this like little girl dual wielding, like a mini John Wick. It's like, yeah, that can be taken out of context and it seems like really shitty. Standalone item, uh, it might be a little intense. So there was a lot of negative negativity and comments from that children shouldn't shoot guns or you know just something really general and uh low intelligence like that nothing to back it up or anything like that 
It's usually something like that. <laughs> like sometimes I'll get on my phone and read the comments sometimes. Oh but boy. I just don't really like to. Yeah. Now some people do say that I'm too young to shoot guns, but to be honest, I don't really care because shooting guns is fun for any age. Like that's what I would say. I mean, maybe not any age. <laughs> Maybe not one, but like I'd say two and older would be fine. <laughs> if you have like that's the cutoff. <laughs> two years old, that's okay. One years old, nah, that's the line. <laughs> like the proper technique and everything. I think one of the things that makes some people, you know, uncomfortable seeing kids with guns, maybe in general, is that. Well, one reason is that it's highly, I don't know, unusual to see like a little girl like that shooting. I mean, as long as she's doing it like safely and like with good technique, like, like you said, I mean, I don't really see an issue with it, but you got to understand that like, that is an oddity to have someone like that young, like to shoot guns. And then something interesting is like, would it be the same? Would people have the same reception of it if it was like a little boy doing it? Would it be the same or would it be different? I think that's a good question. So much coverage when you see kids with guns is about class shootings or school shootings. Sure, that's the that's the intent of the government and mainstream media is to demonize guns as much as possible. And talking about that only further perpetuates that. So we can just stop talking about that right now. This is our holster making area. We just built this shop. We just bought this laser. Like we're just getting going. We sold a few of them, but it, I mean, it's a brand new product, but Autumn's Armory, our main focus needs to be on that. That's what's the important thing. I'm not even worried about making money. That's definitely, I mean, Autumn's definitely our main focus. Yeah. I, I would say the holsters, uh, just like, a, what would you call it? A backup income. <laughs> making money and spending money is all on me. <laughs> yeah. And I think it's good in the sense that it kind of teaches her like the business aspect of, you know, of everything, you know, the dad and the parents are like helping her out and trying to make this thing work. And I think that's cool. Like learning like the business side really early as a little kid. So I think that's as a great little learning experience that they can provide for her. Daddy, I want to show you something cool. I'm going to load this mag without the helper. Yeah, right. A lot of YouTubers and other genres are obviously making a kill and doing it. But hey, that's not why we're doing this. I, I like, If I cared about money, I wouldn't be doing this. This is a huge waste of time. We don't really shoot every day. Whenever it's good weather like this, we'll shoot. But on the weekends, we don't shoot at all, except for with silence guns. We are monetized, but I have to do air quotes because it's just a total game with YouTube. They're just yeah. constantly changing the rules. They will randomly monetize or not. We've probably made a few thousand dollars off of YouTube. Ready? Yeah. Like, nobody counts on monetization money. I don't. Sponsors are how we make a living. We're still not making much money, but it's still, it's that's what carries us is sponsorships. Gotcha. That's fun. It's a genuine love that she has for guns. Yeah. I don't, and we've, yeah, we've said that from the very beginning. It's your decision if you one day don't want to do it anymore. Think about it for a week, <laughs> and then, and then, okay. Hmm. This isn't just some kid that her dad's making her pose with guns. Like, she's really good and has a real genuine interest of her own. I again, I would just literally reiterate if she really enjoys it and she's and you see her getting good at it, try to enter like some sort of like shooting contests or whatever. I mean, I'm pretty sure like they do have that as like an Olympic level sport. And I'm pretty sure they got that as uh, like they're I'm 100 percent sure you could find like some sort of like local competitions or whatever with uh with, with as far as like shooting goes. So. But yeah, I could see where people might get a misconception of it. 
We are going to Airsoft. Yeah. I need to get dressed, though. Yep, go ahead and get changed. Usually we go every weekend, or we try to. Oh, I didn't know my ponytail came out. They're now bold. Put your gloves on, too. Radio check. There we go. You ready? <laughs> they decide to wipe out. Did you get it? Yep. Yeah, I do play against mostly adults, but sometimes there are children there. When we first started going, you know, they didn't know her there, and she's so young, they made her be on my team. But now that they know her and they see how she is, it's like everyone wants her on their team and stuff. <laughs> she's the MVP at Airsoft. I don't really know. I think I just learned it because I've been around guns so much. My dad has always been a gun guy. Hit, hit. I started with Airsoft and BB guns, and then that's what got me into, like, real guns. I just want everyone in the whole world to see her. At least one of her videos the whole way through. That would be, that would be it. That's my goal. It is pretty cool to see all those views and seeing all the people that are watching. She's got a ticket the rest of her life. All she's got to do is keep shooting. She'll be yeah. able to make a total career out of it. Hello, buddy. She could. Yeah, and most people can't even get that right. Like trying to just do one thing great. And if you can teach her to like just keep doing that, then you guys are chilling, man. Keep doing a YouTube thing. She can start shooting competitively. Yeah. She can do whatever she wants. She's she's always gonna have a career in guns. Well, I don't really want to do anything when I'm grown up. I want to do what I'm doing now, pretty much. Yeah. Huh? That's actually pretty cool. Just a little kid that shoots guns. <laughs> oh man, this was actually very funny, but like in a surprising kind of way to see this like little, like I don't know, ten year old girl just shooting guns, and it was so funny because like <laughs> these are all my Pokemon cards, and then these are all my guns. <laughs> Oh my god, that's so funny. Oh man. But uh no, I mean she's doing everything like safely and like under the supervision of her dad and whatnot, so I mean she's not really harming anybody, so as long as she can as long as she can like make money doing it and she enjoys it, fuck it. Just keep doing it. Why not, man? But uh no, this is actually I was not expecting this. <laughs> but uh yeah i like this this is fun uh yeah that's pretty much it all right so i'll catch you guys later peace